بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So we're going to talk about something very very important. Every Muslim must know this, and it has to do with what you were just talking about. So you went to the masjid and they were talking about rububiyah. So there's a very the book that you're studying, Usul al-Thalatha, is a very very important book, and it is a book. which talks about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is, is Allah, how many Allahs are there? One. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one. But we have to know some details about that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one, and that who should we worship? Allah. We only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this very important book, actually gives us a lot of information about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the book that your sister is studying. And so the book, it begins, the scholar, the sheikh who, who wrote the book, he wrote it to, in order to tell other people about Tawheed. And he wrote it in these lands, in Saudi Arabia. He wrote this book here, Because at that time, it wasn't called Saudi Arabia at that time. It was the Arab Peninsula. This place, Saudi Arabia that we know, and Yemen, and these places, was part of the, uh, the Arab Peninsula. Like a big, um, a big piece of land that was Arabic-speaking and Arab in culture. And so, at that time, many of the people, they were worshiping graves, They were worshiping dead people. They were worshiping um, even good people that, that died before. They would say, oh, Sheikh so-and-so, can you please take our dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So because the people were doing this, this Sheikh, he wrote this very important book to call the people back to worship who? Allah. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said in the beginning of his book, he said, اعلم رحمك الله أنه يجب علينا أن تعلم أربع مسائل. So he said in the beginning, he said, no. So that when he said no, that is in order to let you know that he's going to talk about something important. He said no, that verily it is an obligation or that you have to know four things. He said, every Muslim must know four things. How many things? Four, four things. Good. He said, al-ula al-ilm. He said, the first thing is knowledge. Because if you want to pray, can you pray if you don't know how to pray? No. So you need knowledge of how to pray. If you want to um, read the Quran, good. You need to know the rules of how to read the Qur'an, the Tajweed, okay, to know how to do it right. That's why you go to the Duxiga, or that's why you go to the Tafid, to learn from your teacher. You don't learn just by yourself, you learn from your teacher. So this is because that's knowledge, okay. So he said, know that there are four things that every Muslim must know. He said, al-ula al-ilm, he said the first thing is knowledge. He said, wathani, And he said, he said, أنه يجب علينا تعلم أربع أربع مسائل الأولى العلم وهو معرفة الله. So he said, the first thing that you have to know as a Muslim is that you have to have knowledge, and you have to have knowledge of Allah. Because if you don't know who Allah is, how can you worship Him? For example, some people they say, they say. There's only one God, but then they worship Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam. So that means they don't really know who Allah is. Because you have to know who Allah is, so you know how to worship Him properly. So that's why they say, that's why you have to know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. You have to know His Tawheed. You have to know that He's the Creator. He created everything in this world. And outside of this world. Allah, who created the angels? Allah. Who created the Prophet Muhammad? Allah. Who created you? 
Exactly. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al Khalik. He created everything. And that is Rububiya. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's lordship. That Allah is the Lord of everything. He created everything. He planned everything. Everything will die and return to Him because He's the Creator and He's the owner of everything. And He is the one, if we want money, if we want food, just even that we breathe air, it's from Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives us everything. He is ar razak He is the one who gives you money. So if you want to buy candy, if you want to buy a book, if you want to buy a computer, if you want to buy a PlayStation, it's only if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets you buy it. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the money or someone else the money to give to you. Because he is ar razak <coughs> So he's the provider. So we have to know who Allah is. That's the first thing. And we have to know, you know, his that he's the Lord, he's the creator, and we have to make all of our worship to him alone, only to to Allah. So when you make salat, who do you make salat to? Sana? Who do you pray to? Allah. And if you want to make dua, who you make dua to who? Okay, good. Mashallah tabarakallah. So uh if you want to if you want to um, fast, Som Ramadan, you want to fast, should you fast for me? Who should you fast for? Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is because Allah created you and Allah is the one who ordered you to fast in the Quran. Allah said in the Quran, He said, Kutiba alaykum siyama kama kutiba alladina min kablikum la'alakum tatakun. He said that we made a duty on you to fast. And just like we made a duty on the people before you to fast. And this is so that they would gain taqwa. So they would fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And when you fear Allah, that means you worship Him alone. So I don't want to get, give you guys too much information. But going back to what we were talking about, the first thing you need to know is you need to know who? Allah. Who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. You need to know who Allah is, how to worship Him, and and you need to know the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You need to know, as the Sheikh said, he said that it's uh, he said uh, the first thing is knowledge, and it is knowing Allah, and it is knowing the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it is knowing the religion of Islam. Okay, so the first thing that we have to know is Allah, as we said, because. Why do we need to know Allah? Why? Because um, when we know Allah is when we can worship Him. Ascent, ascent. Because when you know Allah, then you can worship Him properly. So we have to know Allah. And we have to know the Prophet wasallam. The reason why we have to know the Prophet wasallam that his name was Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the reason we need to know that is because Allah has ordered us in the Quran to follow Allah and the Messenger. So we have to follow Allah and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That means we follow the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We follow his way. So who do we, we who do we have to follow? Allah and and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Good. So. Since the Prophet wasallam he died, alayhi salatu wasalam, then we just follow his sunnah. We follow from the books about his life, about the actions he did, about the things that he said, uh, and, and, and the things that he agreed to. So we follow the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. So the first thing again, as we said, we need to know Allah, we need to know the Prophet wasallam, and we need to know Islam. You know, you need to learn, know how to pray, you need to know how to fast. You need to know how to make hajj. And all the acts that we do, we need to know how to fast. Everything. So all of that is a part of knowledge. I think that's enough information this time. I don't want to give you guys too much information, inshallah. But we'll, the next time, we'll continue on after that, inshallah ta'ala. So the first thing we need to know is we need to have knowledge. Ma'rufatullah. We need to have knowledge of Allah. 
and you remember? And who? And the Prophet wasallam, and Islam. And Islam with the proofs. And the proofs of Islam, how we know how to practice Islam, is from the Quran and the Sunnah. And that's why it's important that you guys are learning the Quran. You're memorizing the Quran, learning the Quran, and that way you will know what Allah says. No one can tell you after that, oh, Allah said this. If it's not in the Quran and you, and you memorize the Quran... Then you, they have no proof for what they said because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's speech, the Quran is the kalam of Allah. It is the speech of Allah. The Quran is the speech of who? Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Good. So the Quran is the speech of Allah and we need to know the speech of Allah. It's the best speech and is perfect and there is no mistakes in the Quran. All other books have mistakes. Even this book here that I'm reading is not perfect. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's speech is perfect. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, only the Quran, which is the speech of Allah, is perfect and has no mistakes. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us guidance and tawfiq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad. You guys can go now.